I know that pig! Shapeshifters really appear in, in the folklore and tales of almost every culture and every region around the world. And, you know, they use different indigenous animals depending upon where the stories are written. There are all kinds of different myths. You know, we're sort of building our own mythology. A shapeshifter is a creature who is human most of the time, but can shift into another life form uh, that it has imprinted on. They need some sort of a picture or a, a, an animal in which to um, transform into. So it's sort of like I'm cloning that animal. It can be a bird or a dog or you know, a roach or <laughs> probably any, any sort of animal. I can't change into this bar, but and I can't change into you, but if you happen to have a pet gerbil. Can you do it any time or? Yeah. But I'm, it wears off if I fall asleep. And on full moon, I can't stop the shit. Shifters have certain go-to animals that they'll shift into. I have a dog that kind of hangs out around the bar, and so I'll shift into that dog usually. My go-to shift is a ridiculously scary pit bull. He's really sweet, but he's like, it looks like they filled him with air. I shift into dogs a lot, so, and dogs have a better sense of smell than humans, so there are times when, as a human, that trace element of the dog is kind of still with me, and I can, I have a heightened sense of smell sometimes. Just talk about genetics first. Two shapeshifters, if they mate, will definitely have a shifter kid, and, it, and it's genetic. Uh, if you have a non-shifter and a shifter that mate, you could have a shifter kid or, or maybe not. But you could never have two humans who have recessive shapeshifter genes who give birth to a shapeshifter. So as, um, as shapeshifters, the other thing is that you often end up uh, naked, you know, in weird places because you've been an animal and then the shift ends and you're out on a highway or you're, you know, in the woods and you've got to somehow get home and, and not, <laughs> not be seen. Sam? Huh? Ah! Hey, dog. But it's a pretty neat power to have, I think. Uh, you can keep an eye on things and take, you know, you could fly as an eagle if you wanted to. To me, that's the coolest supernatural creature. I, I, I think that would be really fun.